those guys that was filthy rich and you were selfish and it was just all you relied on was your money and, and not got you know and all that you'd be like Judas and we don't want to be like that's the worst thing you can do is be like him where you got got so bad where he turned over you know betrayed you know him over the money who was him Judas in the Bible you said he betrayed him who was him no Judas betrayed Jesus oh Jesus okay. yeah it'd be be kind of like Judas you know the money meant more to him more the money meant more to Judas more than anything in the world and the creator and it's like well when you make it that bad where it's oh my money is more important than anybody in the world mm -hmm. and the one who made me that's, that's when you get a bunch of that low ball well, I mean uh, nothing you can attain here on earth even it doesn't even Last. you know matter but yeah. um I, I do believe that God will bring you the increase. And uh, what I mean by that is that he'll give you an opportunity to preach to people pretty much every day if you, you know. Take advantage of it. Right. So yeah, let, let me ask you this. What's your name? My name is Reginald. Reginald, I'm Patrick. Oh, Pleasure to okay. meet you. Uh, so do you believe that uh, Jesus Christ, hold on, that, that buggy. You believe that Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh and he was sent to his own people, which, oh, was, yeah, which yes. were the Jews, and they rejected him. He was crucified. Yep. Everything loud is, is coming by now as I'm trying to preach this to you. See how the enemy is? Mm -hmm. So uh, he was sent to his own people and they rejected him. He was crucified, buried. He exactly. rose again on the third day and then he was seen. Mm -hmm. um, if he was never witnessed, we would never have an account for Jesus Christ. And, right, right, exactly. So do you know for sure whether you're going to heaven? God, oh, yeah. God oh, yeah. I'm 100%. Today. I've been 100%. a Christian since I was, uh, well, I started out as Jehovah's Witness, which, oh. well, hold on. I got out of that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it like that. No, 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 no. It's okay. No, no, no. I, I wasn't taking it that way. But I got out of that a long time ago when I was young because I realized the truth. Mm -hmm. So I'm a, I'm a Bible. I, I, I'm, a, uh, I'm an original Bible believing individual meaning I don't care what the name of the church you go even the one I go to I don't care about the name of the church mm -hmm. I don't care about the style of the people I don't even care about the style of the pastor so let me ask I, what you. I do care about is is if, if I'm gonna go to a pastor mm -hmm. to, to, to hear the word of God on Sunday yeah if he if everything that he's preaching is in the scriptures then I'm with it if something off like if something he preaching and it ain't in there, I'll be running. Yeah, I'm a Christian. So, so why do you know? Why do you know that God will let you into heaven? Why should God let you into heaven? Uh, well, one, I'm born again. I'm not perfect. What does born again mean? And uh, well, that's the renewing of your mind. See, the Bible says that you must be baptized. You must be born again. And there's a, I forget what his name was in the Bible, but he said, what do you mean by born again? You mean by Nicodemus. coming out of my mother's womb? No, it's not even about that. It's the renewing of the mind is born again. See, born again don't mean like, I yeah, mean, when Jesus in talked in the Bible, he talked in terms of a lot of, womb. Yeah. yeah. He didn't mean you, you coming out of your mama again. No, he's talking about you being reborn under Christ who died on the cross that me and you might be saved. He didn't say me and you will be saved. He said, so we might be saved and free. Meaning if we believe in the one who died on the cross for our sins, that was the, that was the sacrificial lamb, then we're saved because we believe and we obey. I'm going to walk over here. So, so, so you remember what he told the lady of the well? He said that I baptize you with the living water. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. So, because she had the concept wrong, like as many do in Jesus' days, he was talking about, because see, Jesus already knew what the woman was doing, but uh -huh. the woman didn't know this, because yeah. she's dumb and everything, talking about water. Yeah. He was talking about the living waters of the Word. So he thought he meant see, the waters that he can never thirst again. He ain't talking about this water. But see, I can yeah. drink water right now in here on a hot day. Uh -huh. It's quenched. I'm not thirsty yeah. right now. But, but 20 minutes later, I'm going to be, be frying again. Yeah. But what, but what he's talking about, what he's talking about the living waters is 
get in the word of God. Because God already knows you need water. I mean, he knows you got to, you know, he knows you got to have physical. That's why he say, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word to proceed out the mouth of God. What he's talking about there is in order for God's creation to stay alive, we need to do two things. One thing matters more than the other, but they both matter because they both equal out in today and eternal life. Number one thing that man need more than all is God's word. That's the living water. We need that as we live. But we do need food because, see, you can fast and cast out demons by fasting. But see, man, God made man to where he could only, you could only go so long with fasting. See, if you fast too long, you'll die. God knows that. Well, he knows well, you can't. My question was you know, uh, more towards eternal salvation. What must you do to be saved eternally? So, so you got to believe. You got to. So the Bible says. Uh, well, the the the, the so the, the the first thing that you need to do to be saved, which is born again, is you got to accept Christ. Christ is the number one. You said accept Christ. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta um, have a relationship with Christ. Accept Him in your heart, because see, God, when see when you die, when you croak right now, right now, if you were to die right now, God ain't looking at you. He's looking at what you got in you. If you got, if He see the blood of Jesus on you when you die, that's what's gonna get you to heaven. If you ain't got the blood of Jesus on you, you're going to hell. Because God, for, for you to have salvation for eternity, it's all about Jesus. If you got his blood on you, that's all God care about. All, all, all God care about is do you got, oh, 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 you got his blood. Okay, you can go. Because yeah. he ain't look, God, God ain't looking at you when you die. He's so, looking at what you so got in you. So going back to, and I just want to respond yeah. that, the going back to the, the being born again. So I, I, I believe that it's all about belief. It's not about accepting, trusting, any of that. In Acts mm -hmm. 16, 30, when the Philippian jailer was about to kill himself, he said, what must I do to be saved? That was right when the earthquake was happening. And Paul and Silas said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. And thou shalt be saved in mm -hmm. thy house. Yep. So it's all about belief. It's not about trusting, accepting. It also, it says that we should be acceptable of God. So, you know, I don't want to like, it's audacious for me to accept something from who created me. If anything, he should be accept, accepting of me. So, and when you think about the born again thing. So when I believe on that, as John 1 11 says, it says, uh, I'm sorry, John 1 12, but as many as received him to them gave you power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So by me believing on the name of Jesus, which Christ, the son of God, inherited mm -hmm. from his father, because I believe the father's name is Jesus. But let me finish. You're baptized with the Holy Spirit. That's Jesus's living water. So now God, the father's in me because I make up his temple and Christ is in me as well as the Holy Spirit. So now I have righteousness by way of Jesus Christ. So when God, the father looks at me, what he sees in my spirit because now that's where the Holy Spirit is in me. I'm a son of God, just like Christ is, but he's the only begotten born of the Holy Spirit. I was made of an earthly father, born of an earthly father, made of a woman. So now that's what he sees in me. So if, God forbid, if I die, it's because, why I know I'm going to heaven is because I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ only because of belief. It's by believing on what he did. It was him fulfilling the law, him doing the works. It was by his faith, all of it the son but it's important that you believe on the name because you can be, be just believing in the same thing that jehovah's witnesses believe still they only believe that the name of jesus relates to to the son of god in matthew 28 19 it says this is jesus saying go and baptize in every nation in the name of the father the son and the holy ghost and we see what name they baptize in and that's jesus so so you have to believe but there is a little bit more than believe in two that's the number that's well, one where does it way say that at? but uh well Ju if you want to go there judas believed too in fact if you look at what the bible said about judas and uh judas was heavily involved in fact he was in charge of the financial part of the church of jesus what makes christ you think judas believed? okay well judas what my point is is that judas judas claimed that he believed 
He never claimed. He never he, claimed he, that he well, believed. Well, yeah, he was one of he was one of Jesus' disciples. That's a he fact. Was, he was a disciple, yeah, but he, he never a, believed. Though there were yeah, plenty of well, people that walked with Jesus, yeah. was with them every day, but never believed. But see, you gotta, you gotta, you, you know, the Bible says, if you keep my, oh wait, wait, no, he says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. So what he, what so so so, my point is, is that you can you you could believe in anything. But if you really love what you believe in, you will try to do right by what it is you're loving. So well, and, I don't and, necessarily and, and think he, that that's scriptural. Because you can't. Because well, be, it, well, then it, it's okay. You can. Okay. Well, it says, for by grace are you saved through faith. And yeah, 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 yeah. Yourself, by grace you're saved. It is the gift of yeah. God, not of works, lest any man should boast. But you, so if but I can you stand can't, in front of God the Father right. on judgment day and say it's because I loved his commandments but, or I did this, but how I'm, we, I'm believing how, on how, my works. How we know we're saved, though, is when we believe in Christ and we have a relationship with Christ, we do change. Because you can't, you can't be a Christian and be equally in the world as everybody else well you do change you, you know. become a new creature yeah exactly but <laughs> but you don't necessarily uh, no it's not by words i mean but it is by it if is you by are change. a murderer and yeah. you believe and you continue to murder yeah. uh you're still going to be saved you'll just be taken out because yeah. the wages of sin is death yeah exactly so yeah. if you continue to sin god's just going to take you yeah. out so what religion are you what what what, 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 what i don't i don't have a religion i'm just oh. a believer of the lord jesus okay. christ i heard you i'm actually. non i'm non-denominational but i believe well that's in, not even scriptural denominations all that but well I my point my point is is i don't have a well not no it ain't well it's not not so i'm gonna tell you bro there's only one the, believer non-denominational means for for christian the non-denominational non christians all, all that means non-denominational it, it means that we're not pentecost we, we don't go by a specific religious way we just go by what the bible say so we don't do none of that tradition of catholicism or whatever church you know we don't do all that we focus strictly on the bible that's what uh, that's what non-denominational so you got to understand what that means well denominational it, it, is not in the word of god, word of god. That, that, if it, no it if no it, if you're no. a believer you're a believer if you're not you're not if you're yeah but there's for example like uh not catholics would not be considered non-denominational because they're religious they have too many well that's they that's focus man's on the law though that's yeah. man's understanding he gave so, the, the label of denomination and all that yeah and the word of god all it says is that you're either a believer of the lord jesus so Christ, that's what that's what non non-denominational means that According we don't we're not to man. so on, i don't go off pastors know. and churches and all that i go I, by the bible bro i, I go by I, the bible. I go by the word of god but i believe <laughs> yeah. that i believe that um I believe that we as believers make up the body of Christ. But I'll, that, I'll leave you true. this. It says yep. in 1 John 5, 13, it says that you can know that you have eternal life. So once you are baptized with that Holy Spirit and you mm -hmm. have Jesus' as living water in yep. you, you know that you have eternal life. You know that you're eternal. And that's why, that's why I know I'm going to heaven because I've accepted Christ as the Bible says. Well, remember, it's I've not accepted, about acceptance. No, well, You'll never find acceptance in there. It's only about belief. I, well. It's only belief. If yeah, you can show me, to, if you can to. show me one scripture, which I know you can't, yeah. that that it's by accepting Jesus Christ, it's only by belief. But well, when you believe, when you believe in something, you pretty much accepted it because you know why? There's a book. There's a book sitting here. It's called the Bible. If you believe what you're reading, you've accepted it because you can't believe in something until you accept it well i would if just he, say that so that's what i'm it's, saying i would just say yeah. it's just believing don't add to it if you I'm truly not, believe not. I, it, it's it, not it's, about accepting trusting having faith it's only well about believing, if, if you're if you're so if you're if you're gonna tell me nice something like say about buddhism buddhist uh -huh. i'm just using this as an example yeah um you're 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 coming to me with buddhism i'm, I'm not you're not i'm just using this as an example mm -hmm. you're coming to me because you're trying to get you're trying to convince me that buddhism is is right so when you're you're going to try to sell your religion on me mm -hmm. so i have a choice to believe and accept believe and accept what you're giving well, me you're, it, or i can <laughs> Or I can say, nah, I don't believe you. You're lying, and I'm going to deny that. Well, it's just all, That's all it, it, it's yeah. just all about belief. It's, it's not believing well, itself, you, but right, right. But you're no. entitled to have your own. You know, it was yeah. nice meeting you. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, God bless.